How you doing? In episode 5 of Unnecessary Ship for my Sportster 72, I'm going to be installing an oil pressure gauge onto my rear rocker cover. So I bought this oil pressure gauge off eBay, and yes I know you're probably skeptical because I bought it off eBay, but I'm willing to give it a go. So let's whack it on the bike. First thing I need to do is remove the oil filter so I can get access to the oil pressure sensor. So I've got to remove the oil sensor just there to fit this adapter where the oil line will go onto the bottom and the oil sensor onto the top. So I'm just going to disconnect it before I start wrenching on that. Now there is bugger all room in there but I'm just going to apply these small vice grips. Voila. Now the oil pressure sensor has been removed, I'm going to apply this adapter and I'm going to apply some thread sealant to the top of the thread and just keep in mind that this is a tapered thread so if you crank down too hard on it, it's going to crack that housing. This is making me pretty nervous and I can feel it getting really tight so certainly don't want to do one more revolution as it will crack that thread. Now to install the tapered fitting which goes into the oil pressure line. Now I'm going to apply the oil pressure line. Again, I'm going to apply some thread sealant. Reinstall the oil pressure sensor. And again, applying some thread sealant to the thread. Now I'm going to use a 26 mil socket with a swivel on it. Attach the wire to the oil pressure sensor and to reattach the oil filter and as the manual states do it up by hand. Now to remove the rocket cover bolts using a 3 16 allen head socket. And here's where things go pear shaped. So as you can see on this eBay oil pressure gauge, it's got a little rubber grommet there. And on that grommet, it's got a spike. Now that spike is preventing the gauge from going into the housing. So I wrote to the eBay seller and he said, that spike should not be there. Go ahead and cut it off. So I cut off that spike and what do you know, it started pissing out fluid. So then I went to my toolkit, found another rubber grommet, whacked it in the gauge and then tried to slot the gauge into that housing. And even with another rubber grommet, that oil pressure gauge wouldn't fit in the housing. The seller was apologetic and gave me a full refund and even told me I could keep the rest of the hardware being the oil pressure line, the rocker cover mount and the fittings. And because I had very little confidence in the quality of that gauge, I went ahead and bought an Arlen Ness oil pressure gauge for $70. Now I'm going to try and fit the Arlen Ness oil pressure gauge into this housing from the eBay kit. And what do you know? it is not a direct fit. So I'm gonna to take to the housing with a little Dremel to try and take a couple of mil off and we'll be good to go. Oh, that's much better. Babushka, beautiful. First off, I'll wax some thread sealant onto the thread of the gauge. So it's gonna go through the mount which goes onto the rocker cover first then through the housing, and then onto the gauge. Can't really see it here, but I'm installing a grub screw into the housing to secure the oil pressure gauge. Alrighty, now to mount the housing, and what you wanna do is apply these nylon washers underneath the housing. So as per the internet's greatest concern, and that is the torque setting on these rocker cover bolts, and the manual states it should be 120 to 158 inch pounds. Last thing to do is to install these little clamps onto the push rod covers to hold the oil line in place. And if you're meticulous enough, the torque setting on these bolts is 135 to 155 inch pounds. So after waiting 24 hours for that thread paste to seal, I'm finally able to start my bike up. So let's test out this oil pressure gauge.
All right, now let's hop on the bike and see how close my leg gets to the gauge. And as you can see, there's a lot of clearance there between the bottom of my leg and the top of that gauge. So you rest assured, if you do install a oil pressure gauge on your Sportster, it's not gonna touch your leg. Well guys, that is the oil pressure gauge installed, done and dusted. And I gotta say, could not be happier with the way it looks. Yes, it's another completely unnecessary mod to my Harley. The reason being, your bike's got an oil pressure sensor, which you would have seen me remove and whack back in that adapter. And when your bike runs low on oil pressure, you're gonna get a warning light pop up on your speedo. So why did I put that on the bike, you ask? Well, I just need an excuse to work on my bike. Working on motorcycles is my escape. And I don't know, I just love the way the gauge looks on the side of the motorcycle. Call me an idiot, but it's just what I love doing. I love wrenching on my bike. Let me know in the comments what you think of it anyway, but that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.